All right, guys. So just uh, finished getting ready. Time to go to the clinic. My weekly oncology appointment. So my dad's gonna be taking me today. I know my usually usually my sister takes me, but my dad didn't go to work today. So heading outside to go tell him that I'm ready to go. Got my Bailey shirt today and Gatorade, of course. So I think ready, Daddy. Oh, my video. Oh, ready to go? Yeah, there's my dad. Okay. All right, guys, so I'm back in this elevator, like usual, going up to the clinic. Um, my dad took me to the gas station to get some snacks while I'm here. So, yeah. I don't know when the next time I'll record, but we'll see you guys back in a while because the door's about to open. All right, guys, so I know I haven't recorded much of me being here because there was a lot of little kids in there and I just didn't want to deal with it. So now I'm in here waiting for my doctor to come and uh, see me. So I'm here. There's my mom. So if you guys want to see what it looks like, I guess. It's not very interesting, but just to show you guys something. So there it is. Just this little room. So yeah. And then right outside of here. Well, um, I don't want to go over there because my nurse is right there. and She's probably going to think I'm weird. But say if I was right here. That's what it looks like. That's Ellie, all the way over there that you see. So, yeah. Oh, and Yvonne. Remember the nurse that said that they want to be in my video? That's her. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, guys, so we are finally out of the clinic. Got a uh, Gatorade and cookies from the clinic. So, I don't know what we're gonna go do right now. Pharmacy, CVS Pharmacy. Go to CVS Pharmacy to get my medicine because this ear right here, it's infected. Doesn't that suck? So, yeah, I'm glad this time I'm walking out of the clinic. There's no one here to watch what a weirdo I am recording myself, talking to myself to a camera. So, yeah, I literally cannot hear a thing out of this ear. Up to your vehicle. Oh, yeah, my car. Yay! Because you guys remember our lovely incident the other day. Yesterday. <laughs> so, we are taking my car. Well, my mom is borrowing my car for the week. Or however how long it takes to fix her car. So, here's my car right here. Very nice. But I will be in the passenger seat. So, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys. <clears throat> so, we're here at CVS Pharmacy. So, we're going to go get my medications. So, we can get all this bad stuff cleared up so I can go to Wrestlemania and enjoy myself and not be sick. <laughs> Alright guys, so we just had to look in the Easter section. So here's all the Easter stuff. There's some rabbits, some chocolate bunnies. And if you guys love me as your favorite YouTuber, like you guys say, all 11,000 of you say you do, you guys will send me that chocolate bunny. Look how huge it is. It's humongous. Please. Or this chocolate bunny would do good also. These Star Wars chocolates would be cold. This is something that Tyler and JJ would love. Some more chocolate bunnies. Remember? P.O. Box 13169, El Paso, Texas 79912. <laughs> and of course, the stuffed animals. There's uh, Sophia the First. No, no, no. I think that's Doc McStuffins. And then. Minnie Mouse, Ninja Turtles. Tyler loves Ninja Turtles. His favorite is actually this one. And then some rabbits. Oh, that's a cute one. I like that one. P.O. Box 13169, El Paso, Texas 79912. That's cute. Some more rabbits. And then some reefs for the door. And of course, the most famous Easter candies, Peeps. Do you guys like peeps? I like peeps. A lot of people don't, but I do, and I think my sister does also. How do I look? Fashionable? Ready for Easter? Should I buy these? I think they're a go. How cute are these things? Especially that little bunny. Alright guys, so I have not recorded since I got home because I fell asleep. I miss Monday Night Raw. The Fosters is on. So I'm gonna watch Fosters right now. 
I'll probably watch Monday Night Raw tomorrow. Um, yeah, so we're watching Shark Tank right now. And I'm going to get ready to take my medications. But I just want to explain to you guys why I haven't recorded all day. Because I fell asleep. Because I just, I'm tired. I think because I'm sick. This ear, I can't hear anything out of. And, um, yeah, so right now I'm going to take my medications. And it'll be time for the nightly question that I always do. Sassy. Chewy. Ready for bed, Chewy? Chewy. 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 Ready for bed? Hi, Chewy. You cannot start from zero. Yeah, hi, Chewy. Hi, Chewy. You guys cannot tell my cat is very spoiled. So is Casey. They're both very, very, very spoiled. Yeah, Sassy, don't shake your head. No, you are very spoiled. Chewy. Yeah, Chewy. All right, so it's that time of the night again to take my medication. This is Prozac. If you guys want to know what it's for, I guess a little teaching lesson. Prozac is so I will not get anxiety attacks and panic attacks because anxiety and panic attacks are the worst. So, yeah. My anxiety is so bad that I have to sleep in my mom's room. Like, it's gotten so bad due to my cancer that I freak out if I'm by myself at nighttime. It sucks. Time for the Fosters. Alright guys, so the Fosters is over for tonight. I cannot believe next week's going to be the season finale. No. I know there's some of you guys who watch the Fosters that watch my videos because you guys have commented about it. So I'm so depressed that it's about to be the season finale again. It felt like it just started. So this episode was really good, and the ending was actually surprising. So, if you watched The Fosters, did you enjoy this week's episode? I did, and I desperately want um, Callie and Brandon to be together, and Matt and Mariana. The second one might be possible, but probably not the first. So, my, I need to take my medicines and then go to bed. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys. So I took my medication. Forgot to. Uh, do what I usually do is filming. But anyways, it's time for that time of the video where I ask you guys the nightly question. So, I couldn't think of what to ask because today was not a very eventful day. <coughs> but I came up with something. Well, my mom kind of helped, but I'm going to change it a little bit from what she said. She was going to tell me to ask if The Fosters is a good show, but... To you guys who don't know who the Fosters are, don't watch the Fosters, you wouldn't be able to answer the question. So, um, the question for tonight is, has there been a television show on TV, well, obviously on TV, um, that you guys have just gotten so into and, like, so attached to as if, like, you're in that show, practically? And, um, so the rules for this is it cannot be WWE that you answer. Because I could say the same thing, but that would just be an easy answer. And that wouldn't be the point of this question. So comment down below on the TV show that you just became addicted to and love so much. And um, I guess tell me why. So if I had to choose one besides WWE, it would definitely be The Fosters. I love The Fosters. I have seen Grey's Anatomy, Scandal... Um, uh, Orange, is the New, Orange is the New Black, um, mainly Grey's Anatomy, I hate Grey's Anatomy, because Lexi ruined that for me, because I had a, we watched it every day, 20 episodes a day, from season 1 to now, it sucked, so, it definitely is Grey's Anatomy, I mean, you know, no, not Grey's Anatomy, it's definitely The Fosters, I love The Fosters, um, since day one when I found out about it, I remember I found out about it when I was in the hospital. I was on Netflix and I saw the Fosters and I was like, well, what's that? Because I was bored because there's only like 30 channels on the hospital TV. So I decided to watch it and I literally binge watched the first and second season. And since then, I've 
watched every single episode. I am so into it. I follow all the Foster's people on Instagram. I follow the Foster's Instagram. I freaking, I get so mad when they cut, like, like the, the end of today's episode, one of the characters got killed, and they ended there, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, and I just get so frustrated, and like other times where they just like put that uh, cliffhanger ending. I hate when they do that, but The Fosters is so good, and I'm so upset that it's going to be the end of the season next week. Because it is months and months until the new season, and then I see on Instagram they're filming the new season, and I just get so excited, and I get so impatient waiting. So that is why I like WWE, because there's no seasons. It's 24, like it's like 52 days a year, like plus, um, I mean 52 weeks a year, like there's an episode, two episodes, and sometimes a pay-per-view. But other than WWE, it's like I said, definitely the Fosters. So, yeah, that's it for today's vlog. Make sure you comment down below your favorite TV show besides WWE that you get, like, hooked on. Um, so, yeah. So, make sure you follow me on social media. Uh, check out my Miss W Fan 13 channel if you have not have already. Go check out Tyler's Jelly Bean 13. Get him to 500 subscribers. And, yeah, guys, until tomorrow, make a change you want to see in the world.